Hello again, everyone. Welcome to a new Let's Play of Conquests of the Longbow, The Legend of Robin Hood. Welcome to Sherwood Forest. What is your pleasure? I would like a gin and tonic. You're not asking for my drink, are you? Damn it. All right, we can uh, start, restore, or watch the introduction. Let's go ahead and watch the introduction. This is, of course, the second of the Conquests game, the first being Conquests of Camelot. Uh, which I have played previously. I really like that uh, effect on the title there. And as expected for a Sierra game, we've got excellent uh, Roland audio by uh, Mark Siebert. Uh, this game has two endings, a good one and a bad one. There might be kind of a neutral ending, like various shades in between. I don't recall offhand. Um, but uh, I... I I think we're going to go through for the good ending and then play through for the bad ending. Um, you have to start from day one working towards those. Uh, the game design and director was Christy Marks, and I don't remember if she's done any of the other uh, Sierra games. I uh, probably should have looked that up beforehand. Um, there's also a number of ways to die, of course. It, it is a Sierra game, after all. Uh, unfortunately, some of them need uh, multiple you know, uh, they need quite a bit of setup time. Excuse me, King, we're trying to have a little sex here. Would you like mind getting out of our room? Oh, great. Now the damn bard is in here. Jeez. Ah, it's good times. I'll try to show off as many of the deaths as I can, but, uh... I may not get all of them. Now, some of them may be, I, I may be able to do on the bad ending more easily than on the good ending. Uh, but we'll see. God damn it, Bard! Now you're back again! Get out of here! So rude. Trabador, in the year of our most gracious lord, 1193, good King Richard the Lionheart sailed across the sea. He actually only has six more years before he dies. The infidels he had besieged, but Jerusalem was lost. Bloody was the third crusade, dearly did it cost. Especially considering that King Richard saw the his lands as uh, money generators for his wars. Long and dangerous was the road, enemies on all sides. Hidden by the night he rode, cloaked in merchant skies. But in the realm of Austria, King Leopold did reign. He swore to capture Lionheart, or else to have him slain. I think he was kind of pissed at what uh, Richard did down in Sicily. Hey, well, at least the donkey's getting away. That's important. Mighty oaths did Richard swear at this base treachery. They bound him like a roaring lion to face his enemy. King Leopold was filled with glee to have so rich a prize. His laughter filled the stony hall, his greed rose to the skies. One hundred thousand golden marks on Richard's head he laid. Actually, uh, it was silver, I think? It wasn't one hundred thousand either. And Lionheart his prisoner until the ransom paid. I have no fear, King Richard said. My people love me well, even though I only spent about six months in uh, England. They'll raise the ransom that you ask and damn your soul to hell. You know, even though that ransom is more than England makes in a year. And when in England Prince John heard of his brother's golden fee. Silver. It was silver. He swore a dark oath dark unholy oath that he would never go free. 
So the days have sorely passed, and Lionheart does wait. As Black Prince John and traitorous dogs conspire to seal his fate. While Robin Hood in Green Sherwood an outlaw's life does lead. Falsely charged by men corrupt to satisfy their greed. At your side, companions true, Little John is one. Alana Dale the Troubadour. That's me! And Much the Miller's son. Will Scarlet with his good you bow. He doesn't look like Christian Slater. Friar Tuck to pray, amen. Bold Robin Hood to lead them all, and so we shall begin. Ransom, 300. Outlaws, 31. A score, 0 of 7,325. Hmm. This might take a while. Oh! I get 50 points for picking up a horn. Well, maybe it won't take quite so long. With this horn, I can summon my men in time of need. Probably should have looked at that first. It's a peg. I've made a bed of lashed wood and leather, with a fur covering for cold nights. It is kind of tucked to see that my fire is kept lit in my cave warm. A skin is more pleasant to stand on than barren floor. This chest contains my own small store of money. Whatever else I gain from lightening the overfilled purse of the rich man is turned over to Friar Tuck, who serves as our trusted treasurer. Oh yeah, that's smart. Yeah, just give it to a, a church man. Well, let's go uh, see what we actually have uh, in there. I'll count my money as I empty the chest. There's something about silver in a purse that makes a day seem brighter. And I got 50 points for that. Well, maybe this won't go so badly. I have five pennies, 19 half pennies, and 26 farthings. This is, of course, before decimalization. It kind of looks like the uh, coin that King John minted after he was king. So, I, I kind of feel like I should mention something a little bit about uh, uh, Richard and John. Um, neither were really good men, but John was a better king, by far. He was an actual administrator. Richard didn't give a crap about running a kingdom. He just, he just wanted the, uh, the soldiers for war. And he didn't even want to conquer anything. He just wanted to go fight and win. He, he was kind of a jock, is what I'm saying. I mean, that's not to say that John was a good guy. But he actually ran the kingdom. Morning. We've all broken our fasts, but mayhap Tuck will share some of his fish with you. From the gaunt and starving look of our good friar, I feel you'll be left begging. I'll remember that jive when it comes time to dole out the stew tonight. Mercy on me, Tuck, or I'll be too weak to play your favorite tunes. You know the old Norman saying, Alan, never make an enemy of the cook. I can see that there's no point in hanging, out, hanging about here and listening to these two prattle. I'll be in the glade practicing. What of you, little John? I thought I'd head to the Overlook and see if anyone of interest comes along Watling Street. Tuck says our treasury could use a boosting. Is that true? Sorry to say it is, Robin. We're down to but a few hundred marks. Well, I'm off then. Join me there if you have a mind to. Alright, let's, uh, let's actually bump up the speed a bit. 
So our uh, standard icon uh, list is a little bit different um, than normal since they're all kind of shaped like gems, which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk to our uh, merry men. I am not a merry man. Pardon me, I'm just working on a song in honor of Tuck's fine cooking, and I need to concentrate. Well, what about you? No, we must hope for a rich abbot or a greedy baron to come along and replenish our treasury. And you'd better spend some time on the Overlook watching the road, for you know John will tire of it soon enough. Alright. Well, before we do that... Let's head uh, north a little bit. Now, I don't actually have a map, so uh, getting around might be a little bit of an issue at times. That might be a little bit faster than I want uh, us to go. Hello, Master Hood. Glorious day for the bow. I've set the garlands for practice. Come and join us. This new lad here is Simon, and he has yet to see a, simple, a sample of your skills. Alright, let's, uh, let's see if I can tweak that down a, a notch. Um, so there is an arcade setting. Uh, if you set it all the way down, I believe all of the arcade stuff is just automatically passed. Um... And if I have problems, I might do that. I'm, I'm not exactly a good arcade-style player. Uh, but we'll, we'll leave it here for now. Um, oh, whoops. Wrong thing. I, I, I thought I was thinking, quit out of that menu. Well. Tis a fine day for shooting. Shooting. That's all you're going to say? How about you, Simon? Tell me what brings you to the forest, young Simon. I shot a rabbit and took it to my family for supper. I was going to make a pouch from the skin, but a forester saw it drying and saw the mark of the arrow in it. He wanted a bribe to pretend he hadn't noticed, but I was so angry I knocked him down. I was declared an outlaw the very same day, and my father bade me to come to you and serve you. It was your father's idea? Nay, it was mine. I would have come at once, but I was afraid for my family. I wouldn't leave until my father ordered me to go. Will, are we? Aye, a couple of men... Keeping an eye on the lad's parents. Good. Then I make you welcome, Simon. If you can spear a rabbit with an arrow, you'll be a useful man indeed. I'll try, sir. I truly will. Uh, I believe we can get some... Uh... Oh, wow. It is a uh, pound symbol. Uh, let's see. Have a couple. But, but I... Nay, I, I don't deserve... Come, lad, you're a member of our band now. Take the money. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I got a few points. All right, so we've got a... Oh, ah, uh, yes, that is our active icon. Our, our active inventory item. So we've got a bow. And we can do uh, some shooting. It's fairly similar to the dagger throwing in... Uh, Quest for Glory 1. Uh, over here we've got the wind icon... So, it's blowing that way. Oh, that's not very good. Click on the hand to uh, get another arrow. So... Without much wind, it's uh, not too bad. We'll take a look at how we're doing in a moment. So let's go about right there. Alright, let's see how we actually did. Uh, we had a few okay shots. Um, again, I'm, I'm not... I'm not going to be that, that good at the game. Well, maybe with some more practice. So, and we got uh, farther arrows, uh, farther, whoops, uh, farther uh, wreaths. Methinks this would be a good day to wager against you. Your shooting is terrible. Well, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just starting the game. All right, I gotta go I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. Well, that was horrible. Okay. 
Alright, let's see how we did. <laughs> really bad. But, this is the, the arrow shooting minigame, so... Oh, that was actually a pretty good shot. That, not so much. A little bit better. Well, better than the last one, at least. Oh, you moved the wind on me. Alright, so let's see how we did with this one. Um, a bit better, actually. Not too shabby at all. Alright, well, let's go uh, head to the... Uh, the Overlook. Now I have to actually find it. Oh, hey, Tuck. How's it going? You wasted no time devouring that fish, I see. I find that a full... <clears throat> I find that a full belly greatly improves the magnitude of my prayers and gives me one more thing to give thanks for. You don't say. So how you doing, Tuck? No. You're not saying anything new. Alright. Well, let's head to the Overlook. I believe it is off this way. You know, I should probably save the game just to be on the safe side. And we do have this map here. Uh, I'm not sure if we... I think we can go to these places already, but um, we don't really want to. Yet. Yet. Yeah, how do I get out of here? Apparently, once I, uh... Once I've gone into the map, I, I, I can't get out. I don't know, maybe I was just not clicking in the right place. Eh. Whatever. Uh, the Overlook will appear on the map once we get there the first time, so... Let's do just that. I think it's like four screens over. I don't like the trees in this game uh, quite as much as I like them in uh, Quest for Glory 1. Aha! Glad you decided to come. I saw a sheriff's man head up the road a while back. I have a mind to go around to the widow's cottage and say hello to her sons before they leave for Nottingham again. You might want to stay and watch for the fellow to return in case he's up to mischief. Thanks for the warning. Mayhap I'll stop by and see the widow myself later on. She'd like that. So would the boys. Until later, then. Alright, well, let's uh, go ahead and do a quick save again. And this is, uh, I believe, the first opportunity we have for really screwing up. The peasant woman looks frightened. She is being pursued by one of the sheriff's men. There can be no doubt what lechery the sheriff's man has in his black heart. Master Archer though I am, they're both moving, and I might strike the wrong target. I'd best take no chances from here. Alright, well, let's go down there, then. The hand icon is the weight icon. Stand fast! Alright, move aside, I say, in the name of the Sheriff of Nottingham. Nay, please, I've done nothing wrong. Don't let him take me, please. Release the woman. She's my prisoner. Step aside, I say. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Not another step where the woman dies. 
coward you'd use a woman as a shield? Step back or you'll find out quickly enough. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get another temp save. Not another step or the woman dies! Well, that's quite the scream. You dog! He's dead, but what a hollow victory. Indeed. Uh, so we, we lost uh, a lot of points there. Let's, let's not do that. So, you, uh, you want to put her in danger, huh? How about I murder you? Oh, bless you, sir. To whom do I owe my salvation? You've surely heard the name of Robin Hood. Robin Hood? Then it's true what they say of you. I shall be forever grateful. I wonder what happened if I had forgotten to uh, bring the, uh, the horn along. What shall we do with this worthless carrion? I care not. Drag him away for the wolves and ravens. Bless you and all your men. I must go now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you go. Let's give you some uh, coins. Wait. Accept this gift. Oh, oh, you are so kind. I will light candles in your name at Mass. Bless you yet again. Tis my pleasure. Can I talk to her? There is no answer. He who talks too much thinks too little. She hurries down Watling Street as fast as her feet can carry her. Alright, well, uh, let's uh, go back to the map now. So, we've got now got the uh, Overlook. Um, don't want to go to the camp just yet, and I don't remember what these are, or that. So, how about we save the game again? Just in case one of these things screws things up. Hmm. I'm actually not sure what this is. A grim, well-built Norman fortress of stone, converted by his order, by this order of militant monks into a monastery. The monastery sits in the midst of the Fens, a body of dark, swampy water with an evil reputation. The Fens are surrounded by boggy ground. It would be dangerous to tread too far from the safety of the path. Eh, it's a legend of Boggy Creek. <coughs> hmm. Sorry about that. From this high rocky promontory, I can see the monastery and all the fens surrounding it. Okay. Over here we have what? The willows form a living green temple. Okay. And over here we have a very gnarled tree. This is the most ancient and sacred oak of the forest. I see nothing of interest. All right, let's go to the uh, the widow's hut. That is that right there. Ah, it's a good widow and her three fine sons, Hal, Hob, and Dickon. Mother, it's Robin Hood. Good day to you. Tis good to see you again. If that tuck sent you to bother about the wool... Nay, he said nothing about it. Good, I told him I would have it soon enough. We're going to town today, Master, if there's anything you need. I think not today, lads, but be careful. If the Sheriff ever suspects you of helping the outlaws of Sherwood... Ah, he'll never catch us. We'll listen around and hear all kinds of things. Dickon, you heed the man. He's wiser than you. 
Aw, oh, Mom. Don't worry, we'll keep the help the whelp under control. Fear not, Dickon. If I ever need if ever I need a spy, I'll think of you. You guys have no portraits. I'm not a afraid of no sheriff's men. If they grab me, I'll... Dickon. Aw, oh, Mom. I just was going to say that I'd shoot the deputy. The merchants say the Saturday fair coming will be the biggest fair yet. I'll be in town often, so if you think of anything you need doing, you let us know. I have a mind to have a word or two with that friar of yours. He's rather fond of food for a holy man. Indeed, his girth is nearly the match of his piety. Well, let's take a look around. She's a handsome woman for her years with wise and understanding eyes, and a keen wit. Hal is her eldest. Hob is the middle son. Dickon is her youngest. The roof is thatched. The widow has a simple stone cottage. That's a mean-looking old you. Can I can I pet it? Touch me, and I'll give you such a bleeding. Uh huh. There's nothing I wish to take from this good woman. The day I lay hands unwisely upon these healthy lads would be a day I rue. I've no need for water now. It's solidly built, but I could tell that from looking at it. I have no need for thatching. I live in a cave. Can I go inside? That would be a no. Each night after supper, as is our custom, we gather to speak of the day's events. I was not expecting that to just end the day. Fill my mug again, Tuck. As you wish. But what hell is you? I've never seen you so deep in your cups. Why, tis the ale that ails him, but ails well that ends well, and... Stop blithering, Alan. I, too, wonder what troubles you, Robin. A strange melancholy came upon me tonight, unbidden. So I'm going to drink my sorrows away. Perhaps an enemy has cast a spell upon you. Shrive him, Tuck, quickly, in case he should die in his sleep. Wait, what? This isn't Realms of the Haunting. We don't need to ha pick up the Shrive. Fie, Will Scarlet. Can't you find a way to cheer a man rather than frighten him? I know full well the nature of this melancholy, for we all feel it from time to time. Tis that we're outlaws, forced away from kith and kin, living as we can in the forest. Knowing death... And I just uh, knocked my uh, headset off. Knowing death waits in an arrow's flight, or worse yet, a rope's bite. A short life, but a merry one. That's the way of it. Aye, but don't you dream of living as, a fr as free men, able to walk in town without fear? To love a woman knowing you could stay beyond morn? Ah, there's the nub of the matter. You need a good woman, Robin. I know this is lass with huge tracts of land. Alan, you said I could meet her. And I drink to your good fortune, which, as for me... I'm off to bed. Now, let's see. Which way is it? Well, damn, he got drunk fast. Good night, lads. I'll assist Master Hood to his bed and see you on the morrow. Dunk him in the water! Dunk him in the water! Tch, for shame, Robin. Already deep in drunken slumber. Also, you know, you don't look much like Kevin Coster. What happened to you? Well, it's not my job to play nursemaid. I've delivered you to bed, and that's the end of it. Meanwhile... Cast adrift, floating, a song, a song upon the wind, wind that rustles through the leaves, calling me onward into the heart of green. To a heart of green. A woman as graceful as the willows which surround her, swaying to the music of the wind. Eh, we've been there before. We didn't see her there, though. Eh, she's just footloose and fancy-free. 
Now it's time for the liturgical dancing. I've seen better on Star Search. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, interrupt, uh, but I uh, just wanted to say, uh, don't quit your day job. Well, apparently she just quit. She's gone, but there's something here. A glittering green stone where she stood. The willows, I hear them whisper her name. Marion. Marion. Come back, Marion. Come back to me. Oh, don't, don't, don't break out into song. Come back and stay. No, no, no. Ugh, how my head aches. By the blessed lady, I swear I'll never seek to drown my melancholy in a cup again. Ugh, my poor back. I must speak to Little John about leaving me to lie in my quiver all night. But that dream, that woman, she's the woman of my, li my dreams. Literally! And what is this, clenched in my own hand? Nah, it's it's just a chunk of garbage. The emerald. Now I can see its shape, half a heart. Maybe I still dream. How can you tell that's a half a heart? I mean, it could be a uh, half of a uh, an oval. <sighs> Nay, not much with this pounding in my head. I must be well and truly awake. Somehow I must find this Marion and learn the meaning of the emerald. Aye, and see if she is as beautiful as I dreamed. Hmm. Something tells me that uh, you uh, really drank a little bit too much there. It is half a heart, carved of emerald. Emerald. You know, if if it's split apart like this, you can't just put it back together. There's going to be an obvious seam, an obvious flaw. It's it's the the value of the emerald is significantly less now. Just just wanted to say that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Maybe we'll find this Marion. Maybe she'll accidentally die by our hands. Who knows?